Will Naruto and Sasuke ever be unsealed? Now, when they were unsealed, one of the biggest problems that we did actually have is that it didn't necessarily seem like a Boruto series, even though Boruto was getting all the screen time. We understood Naruto and Sasuke was arguably more popular than even Boruto and Kawaki. Probably not Kawaki because Kawaki was that guy, but regardless, I think the overall sentiment kind of was to have Boruto and Kawaki be the best versions of themselves, they kind of needed to be out of the shadows of Naruto and Sasuke and for it to be actually become their series. And I think because because they were sealed quote unquote they kind of got the opportunity to do that and in my personal opinion i think them being sealed is an impeccable replacement to them actually dying one of the questions that we've kind of always had in boruto was will naruto and sasuke or will naruto or sasuke actually die in the series of boruto and at this particular time the ceiling essentially functions as them kind of dying but it's even better than them dying in some weird way as i said them actually dying and not necessarily being in the series it props up boruto and kwaki but on top of that one of the things that we do understand about naruto and sasuke is that they they are a numbers magnet every time they're in the series they draw and attract numbers and even passages fly out numbers them essentially being alive and well in the series of board so is a very good asset for the writers especially when it comes to actually attracting some of the old school naruto fans to the newer boards of content for example there was a long time or a long break in which naruto diehard fans never really actually watched but the boruto anime until naruto and sasuke fought against jigen so by them not totally killing off naruto and sasuke it still makes them relevant plot wise but also doesn't necessarily have them get in the way of board on Kawaki's growth as main characters in their own series. Now, do I believe that they will be unsealed? I think yes. I think it's probably going to be inevitable at this particular point. I think I'm probably one of the only people that always stood 10 toes down on this, and I'm probably one of the only people that still probably standing 10 toes down on this, because Sasuke is in a very peculiar situation. I don't think either Sasuke or Naruto are probably going to end up dying, and of course this extends to them being unsealed in the future as well. Now, at what particular point do I think they'll end up being unsealed? I have absolutely no idea. I think they're probably going to be unsealed and game for sure another thing that i do anticipate them getting is a potential new form if they are going to be unsealed at any time and if the board to rise do want them to make any sort of impact i'm pretty sure at that particular time all the characters or all the actual villains of substance are going to be extremely strong and they'll probably actually need a power up as well and their power up is going to be in the form of a brand new transformation and of course when it comes to brand new transformations and characters like naruto and sasuke much similar to characters like goku and vegeta those things are money magnets and i personally believe it would pretty much be malpractice for them to not actually do something like this during the end game so if, if i were to actually give a prediction i think they would be unsealed and they'll probably get a power up towards the end of the series but when it comes to specifically when they'll actually be unsealed i actually do believe that sasuke can be unsealed earlier than naruto being unsealed sasuke's ceiling is a tad bit different from naruto first things first his ceiling is kind of tied to this arc which is like the shinju and the shinju clones naruto's isn't naruto's ceiling is completely tied to kawaki and kawaki can like unseal naruto whenever he wants to but he can also keep him there because he wants to as well with the shinju it's not necessarily guaranteed that they're going to be affecting the entirety of the series like they're going to be here in chapter 50 of boards of tbv they could simply be villains for this arc in general and once this arc is over then of course at the end of the arc sasuke has to be unsealed it could definitely be like that or it could definitely go the other way at the end of the arc sasuke doesn't get unsealed and then he eventually dies you never really know but my personal idea i think is not going to die so i believe if this thing is tied to the shinju because these shinju seem to be like a temporary villain this could be like a temporary ceiling for Sasuke, which would then have him be unsealed at the end of this arc. Another thing with Sasuke's ceiling that makes it a very different than Naruto's ceiling is that Sasuke's ceiling is a lot less tethered to the actual plot of the series. The whole plot right now is surrounded around Kawaki being the good guy, Kawaki being the son of Naruto, the actual son of Naruto, not the adopted son of Naruto, and Boruto actually killing Naruto. The actual physical representation of Naruto being unsealed and like walking through the village, that's going to be a lot more impactful than just Sasuke. Sasuke is just viewed as a rogue ninja as of right now. I want to just say just a rogue ninja because he is Sasuke Uchiha, but he's a rogue ninja. Plot wise, it's not necessarily that heavy. And in fact, throughout the time skip, he was actually unsealed for a whole entire year. So like, and nothing really was crazy. Like Boruto was still Boruto, Omnipotence was still Omnipotence, and Kawaki was still Kawaki. So I think Sasuke would have a lot less damage. So I think because of that, 
that could definitely get him unsealed a lot quicker not only that sasuke could definitely be helpful to boruto in the future one of the things that we do understand is that sasuke trained boruto and taught him a lot of what boruto actually knows as of right now taught him the uchiha style whatever that actually is but also when it comes to other stuff when it comes to him actually going from dimension to dimension we know that sasuke has done that plenty of times and not only that when it comes to boruto honing his abilities sasuke is absolutely elite when it comes to ninjutsu and could potentially also train boruto to get better at some of the jutsus that he already taught boruto one of the things that sasuke made clear was that even though boruto knew all of the stuff that sasuke can actually teach him he still needs to hone his abilities and sasuke could definitely help him do that so i think sasuke being unsealed one wouldn't necessarily damage the plot that much and also he could definitely be helpful to boruto as well and i definitely would love to see a sasuke boruto reunion potentially in the future now naruto being unsealed the reason why this is a little bit more complicated as, as i said a bit earlier he's tied directly to the plot but here's what could actually get him unsealed and this right here is like a interesting dynamic that we're probably going to get to find out more about in the next chapter or possibly the chapter after that matter of fact you never really know because jura actually wasn't in the last chapter but jura himself his actual target is going to be naruto now if you guys do recall the original reason as to why naruto is in this dimension in the first place or why naruto is sealed in the first place is because kawaki wants to keep him safe if Kawaki understands that Naruto is not safe in that dimension, it wouldn't necessarily make sense to keep Naruto sealed. The only reason why he would kind of keep Naruto sealed is because he wants to like complete his mission of actually eradicating the Otsuki clan. He understands that Naruto wouldn't necessarily allow him. And not only that, he also get one of the craziest ass weapons if Naruto was actually unsealed generational. But regardless, I personally do believe Naruto being unsealed by Kawaki because of Jura's influence, because of Jura's actual threat to, to Naruto is going to be something that we should be monitoring. And not only that, when it comes to Jura's abilities, because we don't fully know who he's like an actual clone of or who he's like a Shinju of, we don't really know if he actually does have access to that dimension or not. A lot of people are kind of speculating that maybe he's like a Shinju of Kawaki. Maybe he's a Shinju of Jigen. Maybe he's a Shinju of Ishiki Otsuki himself. A lot of possibilities, but regardless, one of the things that we have to talk about is that if he has access to that dimension in any way, in any way at all, Kawaki is definitely going to want to move Naruto from that spot. But again, I do have to point out, it's a possibility that they are never actually unsealed. And I talked about this before, the reason why I kind of feel like strongly about them actually being unsealed is I believe it would kind of be right or malpractice to keep two of these impeccable assets just sealed up and not necessarily impacting the series in any way further. But I personally believe that there's going to be something that Boruto has to do or like a mission that Boruto has to complete to actually unseal Sasuke. And if that's actually going to be the case, there's a possibility that Boruto fails that mission. And not only that, there's a possibility that Kawaki dies before he gets to unseal Naruto and then Naruto and Hinata never get unsealed. So there's a bunch of infinite possibilities. But as I stand right here or as I sit right here on my on my chair doing this commentary, I'm going to say they're probably going to be unsealed. And if I were to give one person to be unsealed first, it would would be Sasuke simply because his unsealing just doesn't really impact the series that much but let me know what you guys think do you guys think Naruto and Sasuke is going to be unsealed at this particular point we're all giving our theories we're all giving our ideas because let's be honest we have absolutely no idea but it's been your boy Barbie and we are it's a knife